this video. Our 
naan lager takes a wonky and unsold naan bread from the manufacturing process. Inspired by well-known chef and writer Hari Kultra, it is a perfect match for spicy food. The aromatic nigella seeds from the naan give it a wonderfully delicate and refreshing finish. <laughs> so, yeah, a, uh, a beer made from naan bread. I've heard it all now. You know, we've tried some jazzy beers over the year. The years. Uh, I can barely speak today. <laughs> over the years. Um, but I think this might be up there in terms of wackiness. So it's a 4.5%, so uh, a fairly standard sort of lager range. It's, um, what is it, a 330ml bottle? Yeah, a 330ml bottle. Uh, so a nice size. Uh, we've also got to put that down there. Our vessel. Um, I was gifted some very jazzy new Beaver Town buying glasses, which uh, will definitely be making regular appearances on the channel. But for now, I've picked a, a receptacle that's more size fitting for uh, the beer. And it is a, this was an old gift uh, sent to me by a friend of the channel. It's a Samuel Adams. You can see it sort of. Uh, been washed in the debuggery and it says uh, cheers to you. What's that? Uh, 30, 30 years of independence. <laughs> and of course we've also got It's got a nice sort of amber, amber, slightly blonde amber sort of colour. Anyway, uh, cheers to you, whether you're watching this with a, a cold beverage or beverage, a soft beverage, or perhaps joining me with a beer, or you know, maybe you're doing dry January, in which case, uh, best of luck to ye. Uh, or you're just having no imbibement at all. It's an absolute pleasure and a privilege to have you here. So big. Cheers. Nice, but I don't know if I was expecting. 
drinking some sort of mango chutney bargy infusion, uh, you know, uh, a hit of spice, um, of, uh, you know, the wonderful flavours of the, uh, you know, the world of Indian cuisine. I appreciate naan bread is fairly straightforward, but that just tastes like lager. But perfectly nice lager, so, you know, I won't complain. Um, I was just expecting something a little bit more, a bit more pizzazz. Anyway, so guys, how are you doing? Anyway, I hope you're having a, a cracking start to the new year. I hope that your resolutions and your goals are starting off strongly. I was talking about um, getting the video uploaded on, what's it, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Um, with the members chatting about like 2024 goals and some sort of resolutions. I'm not one um, sort of massively full resolutions, but I did set some some goals and uh, one of them um, want to get a bit uh, get a bit fitter um, and so probably the best way to do that is probably cutting down the amount of beer it's been quite heavy I felt like yeah, in that sort of post Christmas sort of oh, um, yeah a lot of good food a lot of good drink um, so a bit of discipline now required um, but yeah now it's it's been a fairly sort of fast start to, um, to January, like I say, work is a little bit, a little bit mental, um, yeah, so that's, yeah, keep it, keep it busy, um, and now I've got the, um, now I've got my Yeti and stuff, I'm, you know, looking forward to being able to make sort of more normal content, I suppose, uh, like I say, recording on the phone is sort of good every now and then for like an ASMR in the car or doing a live stream, um, sort of mobile, but the, the audio quality isn't particularly good, um, and someone did suggest a very canny idea of getting like a lapel microphone that you can sort of plug into your phone, the only problem with my phone is that the, the lightning, the lightning, the lightning, ka-chow, um, that's lightning McQueen, um, on my phone is a little bit buggered, um, and so it's not very good. Um, I can't really charge with like a lightning cable. I can only do it if I sort of prong it and like sort of have it like in, but maybe lifted, basically at an angle, which is a nightmare because I can't get it to sort of like naturally be at an angle while charging. So I'm having to sort of charge it using the that sort of circle sense pad um, thing. So I'm not sure how much of an option that's going to be. I do probably next year I'll have to sort of change my phone, but it's perfectly functional now. However, earlier today there was an incident in which I nearly sort of sabotaged my phone, um, and I basically um, I came back from walking uh, the dog, and I was like, oh, I need to stick a wash on, so I need to wash my um, yeah my bed linen and stuff. And so, yeah, stripped the bed, whapped it in the old uh, washing machine. Um, yes, washing machine. I always get dishwasher and washing machine confused. Uh, set it off, and uh, I think, uh, whew, right, I was just gonna get my phone and sort of start work again. Um, but I couldn't find my phone. I looked high, I looked low, I looked everywhere, and then I just heard the washing machine. I heard it spinning, and then I heard a clunk. Spin round, clunk. Spin round, clunk. And I'm like, no, surely not. Surely not. Surely yes. I rush over to the washing machine. I go stop cycle immediately. It goes. I've got to drain first. Fine. I'm there just watching as the water drains away and. 
episodes. I was like, no, I'm on nine. I, if you were German, I'm bilingual here on the channel. Um, and I was like, God, no. But thankfully, um, frankly, it was fine. Sort of took the case off, whapped, put it on the radiator. It wasn't the radio, it wasn't on full, but just let it dry a bit. And thankfully, it's perfectly fine. The speakers are sound as well. Um, pardon the pun there. Um, so I almost uh, completely kapowed my, uh, not sure if that's a, a verb. Um, I nearly knackered my phone, but thankfully, thankfully it is safe. But I've been knickknacked today, right? Because quite a long weekend. Well, it wasn't quite a long weekend, but quite a long Sunday. Because yesterday uh, I went uh, to watch. I watched uh, Man City versus Huddersfield in the FA Cup. Uh, at the end he had. So I went with my mate and his uh, yeah, mum and dad. Um, because uh, yeah, his mum's a really big Man City fan and I'm a Huddersfield Town fan. Um, so yeah, we went, uh, went, drove down there, watched the match. We got bumped 5 0. Um, wasn't surprised by that result. Um, crack a day out. And we went for a curry. Um, which was very, very tasty. Had uh, some bargies uh, to start, and then I'm a really big fan of spice, and you know, when I go to an Indian, I really like to sort of test their chili system, and you know, I want to get something that's really gonna um, uh, sort of excite the, uh, the palate. So I went for a korma, uh, which is very nice, uh, with some rice. That uh, was very good. Um, but yeah, I had a, I had a nice, <laughs> I had a nice korma. I enjoy a korma, right? There is no shame in saying that you enjoy a creamy coconutty korma, right? You know, you can have your Rogan Josh, you can have your Jalfrezi, you can have your masala. I do like chicken tikka masala and Jalfrezi. I would like to add, but I do enjoy a korma. And it was very enjoyable. I had Cobra on draft, which is always a, a treat. Um, and yeah, then we drove. We drove back, but didn't get into like 11. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this, you know. When you smell it, um, your, your olfactory senses. Yeah, it smells. I don't know, difficult to describe. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so that was, that was uh, my Sunday. Uh, Saturday was pretty chill. Um, what did I do Saturday? Uh, recorded the video. Um, and then walked the dog, which was, uh, yeah, I'm walking the dog a bit more, which is, which is nice while I'm up here, you know, I've, um, he can be a bit of a pest, the pooch, but, um, yeah, he's, he's pretty sound at the moment, so I'm trying to capitalise on it, um, that was chaos over Christmas because I, during Christmas dinner, my nan fed the dog. The dog sort of came round, wandered over. He was like, right, who's the weakest link in this party? And he was like, right, isolated my gran. Went all, all just sort of like, you know, looking at her, fawning, pathetic. But she caved and gave him some turkey, to which he was obviously delighted and sort of scurried away, you know, you know, happy chops. My mother was livid, livid. She was like, mother, oh, nana, mother in this context, what are you doing? What, what have you done? Uh, it's going to take me a week to train that out of him now. And uh, my nana just sort of shrugged her shoulders and went, What can I say? What can I say? So that was uh, some big drama. Uh, 
Um, so he's, he's, a, he's a cheeky lad, but uh, you know, cracking good fun. Uh, quite good at fetch, which is good because of the previous couple dogs, a few dogs we've had over the years. It was almost like they were sort of genetically um, wired to not understand fetch. So this was the most dog-like dog we've had behaviourally. Um, and he's a good laugh. He's a good laugh. Um, but yeah, so it was quite, quite wicked. But I'm just talking absolute nonsense. Like the beer rambles of old. <laughs> but yeah, so um, Saturday pretty chill. Um, I wanted to put some more time into Mario RPG because that's going to be Wednesday's video. So I'm going to be uploading on Wednesday as well. Back to the normal schedule, like I say, a blip missing yesterday. My apologies for it. Um, I'm playing more Mario RPG because really, really enjoying it. I've got a setup now where I can use a almost like an iPhone tripod to record the Switch. But I'm going to set it up so that the audio is recorded via the Blue Yeti. So that should be um, that should be pretty good. Um, although I might record it with the um, with my camera, you know. Um, I don't see I don't see why not or why we couldn't. I don't see why not. Um, we've mainly been playing Mario RPG. Really been enjoying it. Um, leveling up. It's uh, yeah, it's just fantastic. Um, I've started playing Mario Wonder, you know. Um, but really, my, my time has been put into um, Mario RPG. And uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, later this month, I'm going to be doing a um, sort of what I've been watching, reading and playing. Almost like a best of 2023, because we did that last year, sort of like a best of. And they're always good fun. Um, I'm probably going to do a couple more bangs. Um, I am meaning next week, and I'm, uh, well, this upcoming week, and actually Sunday's upload, I'm looking to be doing a wrong play. Because it's a long time since we last did one of them. So, yeah, do, do keep an eye out for that. Uh, which will be fun, because we've not done, again, not done one of them in uh, a bit of a while. And, uh, yeah, it's nice. Let us know down below what you think about the recording setup. And if you like this, I'm, sorry, I'm just staring at the viewfinder. Terribly rude of me. Um, recording in the this more sort of ambient uh, sort of lighting. I was going to say temperature, but um, I suppose it is the sort of warmer picture, a bit more, a bit more relaxing. Um, I hope, and like I say, with the the Yeti back, back on. Uh, hopefully, this is a bit, bit more of a, a normal, a normal video. Um, but uh, yeah, I got a fairly steady week. Uh, steady week coming up. Uh, like I'm, I'm gonna ensure that we that I hit the upload schedule. I'm away on. I'm away this weekend. Gonna go um, yeah, see some family and go watch some football. Funnily enough, why such a lad? Uh, football and lager. Really. Um, I'm hoping to get my first uh, the first book I got for Christmas finished. reading um, The Making of a Manager, which was one of the two books that I showed in the um, in the Christmas haul video. I, I, got, I think I got like five books for Christmas and the way I'm gonna, the way I'm sort of doing it is it's kind of what I did in during the lockdown years um, when I had like a pile of to be read books. Um, I would essentially just do a number generator so number the one to five and do a number generator and that would pick and I'd, I'd go through it that way but um, I suppose one of my goals for, for this year I really want to sort of pick up my reading I read quite a few books last year but um, I sort of stagnated over the over the sort of actually no I was quite read quite a lot over the summer but I feel like the spring and then the, the sort of autumn winter uh, slow down a uh, uh, slow down a fair bit. So um, yeah, I wanna wanna definitely pick that up. And uh, yeah, I wanna start pulling together a plan for. Um, well, I wanna cause I wanna get uh, some new equipment. And uh, a friend of the channel helped me massively because uh, I'm looking to get a PC. Um, and essentially convert my laptop into a, a PC, not like a 
physically convert it, but you know, I can sell, sell my laptop and use the proceeds to get a PC because I don't leverage uh, the laptop's portability, and so I'm sort of restricting myself and paying a premium. Um, for a feature that I just don't use and it actually is sort of um, it's not prohibitive but it does get, or can be a bit of a, a negative experience because when I'm streaming for instance or recording like on the on the computer um, with the webcam and stuff because it's the laptop you've got the fan right there so we've got the microphone and then the fan right there whereas if I have a tower you know, a traditional PC build I can sort of move the tower away further away from the microphone that way it preserves uh, more of that audio quality so yeah that's I think that's going to be like a an early summer project now I know nothing about building PCs so um, yeah it's going to be relying on your guys' help for that one um, but uh, yeah I've already had some help also pre-specking and sort of pre-builds um, which has been great so that's something I want to look at and I'm looking at the wanting to um, it's just really average um, also yeah wanting to anyhow I've been looking at the sort of release dates or like the release calendar for next year for games and I'm, I can't really think of anything that's really cool but I think 2023 has been a um, you know, a beast of the game releases, but yeah, it's looking like Black Ops 2 for Call of Duty, which would be class. But apart from that, you know, original IPs, I've not, I'm not really aware of anything. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a new Resident Evil, like Resident Evil 9, probably something like that could get announced this year for 2025. They're now caught up on the remakes, unless they did like, um, uh, you know, some of the older ones, because they did Resident Evil, they started with Resident Evil 2, so it's like, do you do the original Resident Evil, do you do Code Veronica, and do you do 5, came out in 2009, so 14 years ago, oh, they might do it, they might do it for 2025, you know, 15 year anniversary of RE5, RE5 was my first Resident Evil, brilliant game, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it was an absolute, um, absolute blast. Um, something like that. Um, I've just, yeah, I'm looking for, oh, oh, I've got Ghost of Shishima too. That's not next year, though. It, that's, oh, God, I keep saying next year. It's not this year, is it? It's next year, I imagine. 2025. Um, but maybe I'll use that as an opportunity to go back and play some more games. I've got because I've got Microsoft uh, Xbox Game Pass as well, so I need to use that a bit more. Um, yeah, make a bit more, uh, make a bit more content. But again, um, I need to. Well, I've got my external hard drive now because I was having an absolute storage nightmare. Um, but yeah, I think I'm able to get past that. Okay, but yeah, gaming is something I want to do. Um, a bit more thing 2023 is the year so I got back into it really started enjoying myself more with uh, with games I sort of fell out of um, I didn't fall out of love with it but I just sort of didn't make the time for it I didn't really have the time for you know, myriad factors you know life um, but yeah I want to you know, want to carve out some time for it you know this is you know, the ASMR gamer after all um, yeah, oh, that's part, part of the name. Part of the name. And then, yeah, um, yeah. I'm not having any of that. That's got none in it. Could be a beer by end ups. Nah, nah. Nay. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a think if there's any sort of last minute topics that I can pull, that I can pull to the fore to, to talk about. I don't actually think so, I think, um, that's pretty, pretty much caught up. How we've once been again on, um, oh, down on, um, yeah, not particularly. 
be watching anything at the moment. Well, I'm watching Traitors on BBC iPlayer with uh, um, yeah, my mum and sister. That's very good. Claudia Winkle, it's not like a wing murder game uh, game show. That's very good. Also, Peter Kay's um, Cradle to Grave. That's very good. Enjoying that. I started. I started rewatching uh, The Pacific. Uh, so before Christmas, I rewatched Band of Brothers. Um, excellent. Uh, so yeah, I started watching, uh, rewatching The Pacific. Um, I actually watched The Pacific first, and then Band of Brothers originally. I really did, really enjoyed The Pacific when I watched it. Is it better than Band of Brothers? I'll just say both excellent TV shows. I also want to give um, House of the Dragon a go because I've got season two of that coming in. When it came out, I didn't really give it much of a go, and I very much enjoyed Game of Thrones. So, uh, you know what? I might start giving that a go, like, yeah, from today. Um, oh, there's my dog barking away. He is a. But, um, but yeah, I think that's me all ramble now. And we're also out of beer. So, with that said, I'll, I'll wish you a very massive, uh, well, no, I'll say a very massive thank you for you know watching and you know, staying, staying to this bar. You know, your time, your time is you know, your most precious resource and asset. So, to spend it with me is very, very much appreciated. I hope you've enjoyed it. And perhaps it's helped you sort of unwind and relax a little bit of relaxotainment. Um, I will see you on uh, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, um, the usual scheduled time. Like I say, apologies that we missed it, but got a little a little longer ramble. So hopefully that makes up for it, guys. But plenty of good stuff to come. So yeah, do uh, drop a like if you haven't already. Uh, much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new, and yeah, let me know.